When I joined the firm in 1974, this was just a few years after the firm had won a, uh, a large uh, lawsuit. The name of the case was O'Neill versus the United States, and I won't bore you with the details of the court case, but basically it stood for the proposition that physicians or other professionals could incorporate, and not only could they incorporate, but that they could enjoy the tax benefits associated with being employees of corporations. The IRS had historically said you can call yourself whatever you want, but as far as we're concerned, you're not really a corporation for tax purposes. As a result of that case, uh, we became well known really throughout Ohio as being at the forefront of the incorporation of professionals, not just doctors, but accountants, other lawyers, uh, but primarily it was, it was physicians. Um, and as a result of that, we, were, we began to be flooded with, with uh, clients, with new clients, doctors who were referred to us, primarily from accountants. At those days, our accountants were a major source of, of referrals. So a doctor would say, hey, I'd like to put more money in a retirement plan than I'm able to in my unincorporated status. What should I do? Well, call McDonald Hopkins because they'll incorporate you and you can put lots more money away. So, but it was out of that, out of the incorporating of physicians. In those days, it was healthcare wasn't the law that it is today. We didn't have HIPAA. We didn't have lots of other types of fraud and abuse. Was There was no Stark Law. I mean, all the things that, have, that, that we spend so much time these days working on and that are such a concern to our client didn't exist then. It was more, at that time, it was really more corporate oriented and more retirement plan oriented. But it, it got us in, involved with physicians and physician groups so that as their legal needs changed and developed over the years, so our expertise changed. And now we're doing all kinds of different things for physicians, physician groups. And it's expanded beyond that to, to representing hospitals, other healthcare providers. But it all goes back to that one lawsuit that the firm handled then are, are uh, renowned uh, in terms of incorporating doctors. And it's, uh, so the, the firm being known as a firm that, that specialized in this has continued. In fact, just as, as one area of the law, uh, we now have a, a, a data security component of our practice. It's a large part of the practice. Uh, folks up in Detroit uh, are really heading that effort up, and that's really grown. So we're doing work not only with physicians, but with hospitals and other health care providers. Some of the most enjoyable aspects of, of my practice have been the personal relationships that I've established, not only with clients, but with the other clients, other advisors, and particularly accountants. I work with a lot of accountants. And one of the things that I've, has been, I suppose, the most enjoyable to me personally has been those personal relationships that I've established and have maintained over a period of time. Uh, it doesn't always translate into, you know, we go out every weekend and get together with them or have them over to our house every week. It doesn't have to be that way. but. But the, uh, the personal relationships are important.